Welcome to another episode of Geared Up, where we go check out the newest, most innovative tools used on Mortensen sites all across the country. Today we're going to go check out something called a strut shear, which in the last couple years when I've cut a lot of unistrut, sure would have liked to have known about this tool to do that job. I had to check it out. Let's get after it. We're on a mission to find tools and equipment that have game-changing potential for making the work safer and better for all the people on our projects. This is Geared Up. I've had the fortunate and unfortunate experience of cutting a little bit of steel now for Mortensen in the last couple years. And it's a true testament to the craftsmen and women in the field because it's, it's not always easy. You know, we haven't done a ton of, but it's a growing scope for us. And the more we do prefab, the more Unistrut will likely get involved with. So we've got your typical chop saw, we've got a bandsaw over here, and then we've got a, and we've got a strut shear around the corner. We're gonna walk through each one. I'm just gonna demo each one and you guys uh, can see and feel the difference yourselves. Makes a pretty clean cut. A uh, little, little bit of burring, not too bad. You know, if I gotta make another cut. One thing I noticed when you use this, and, and the people that do this every day could probably talk very, uh, uh, very long about it, is you get a little bit of burrs. You feel them shooting off the saw a little bit. Um, sharp edges, a few sparks, not a lot, but of course you gotta be concerned about that. So that works, nothing wrong with it. Oh, and of course it screams pretty loud, so hearing protection is critical along with the face protection. Now we step over to the other, the other potential solution, traditional bandsaw. You can't use this bandsaw one-handed. Down, you slide down the guide, you find your line, you're gonna make your cut. In order to do that, you got a hand here, you gotta clamp it down. So let me go find a clamp and we'll, uh, we'll show you what that looks like in just a second. We're back and uh, <laughs> when you realize that you gotta have two hands on the saw and I wanna make a very simple cut. Now I know that a few folks cheat this once in a while, that's a no-no. They do make smaller saws, right, that don't require that, but they're a lot less powerful, the batteries are smaller, a lot fewer cuts. This size saw is pretty typical, you know, traditional blade rotates around, you're gonna make your cut, you're gonna clamp your piece down, turn your light on, hit your safety, use your guide. And I'll do another one just for funsies. I'm not an expert. I don't do this every day for a living, maybe just for a hobby. All right, so, and it's clean, very few burrs, but to be honest, my astigmatism might've been kicking in just a little bit. That's not the straightest cut. So now we're gonna show you something light years ahead of both of these options. Let's go check it out. Now I'm over by the strut shears. Uh, so what you got here is a hydraulically pressed shear in this mechanism here, runs through this pump. You got these different uh, fixtures that can go in there, tools, right, for the different shapes of the strut. They fit into here. I've got one already pre-installed. Pre Slide your strut in, you measure it out. You can set up your, your jig set up here. And then despite all the noise you heard over there, the uh, angled cuts, in this case, you're pretty straight. Your runner, I don't know why I'm still running, it was already done. And it's a straight, clean cut, no sparks, virtually no burrs whatsoever. And that was infinitely faster and safer than what we were using over there. Of course, it's a little bit bigger setup. You know, you have to probably have to have a few cuts to warrant it. So I'm not saying that there's not a place for a bandsaw or chop saw, but there's certainly a place for this if you're doing this for any length of time on a job. All right, so I was pretty excited to go check out this new tool I heard about, and it paid dividends. I don't know how much strut I'll have to cut in the future, but I know a lot of people that will, and anybody that uses the strut shears will appreciate that over the alternatives. Anyway, if you like what you saw today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we always like to hear what you have to say and have to think about these types of tools, so leave a comment. And we'll see you next time on an episode of Geared Up.